Now I move on to combination control, and this has to be one of my favorite topics just because I imagine a setting like Inside Out where all these proteins are voicing their opinions and this one poor mediator complex is just sitting in the chair just trying to get one answer out of everyone. I've included this picture because this is kind of what I imagine it looking like, where every single protein is a person at their computer firing in their own signals. So combination control is a group of regulator proteins that work together to control one single gene. Remember, this is multiple of proteins controlling one gene. All of the regulatory proteins are assessing their environment and stating their opinion, either yes, transcribe, or no, don't transcribe. Since we are eukaryotes, of course our combinations have to be extra, and our combination control needs to be extra as well. These regulatory proteins are all over the chromosomes. Our genes are responsive to multiple signals. Each transcription factor is bound by its own enhancer and it gives the signal. Each transcription factor carries out a yes-no signal. But combination control is anything but quiet. Now with all these transcription factors together, they all want to say someone needs to make a final decision. And this is when the mediator complex comes in. So I've included this picture and you can kind of see how the DNA that isn't involved just kind of bends out of the way and everyone bonds to this DNA um, mediator. And then right there we have our RNA polymerase, which is right before the transcription zone. So this will, the mediator will just say yes, keep going, or no, stop. Here we have our mediator. And I really like this comic up on the left because this is kind of like what I picture where, like, it reminds me of from Sandlot when all the kids are in the huddle, like, all yelling, and then one kid just sticks his head out and finally makes the decision. In some ways, I think of combination control as our Socratic seminars in bioethics. All of the transcription factors are all in one group, and the mediator is the speaker. The mediator integrates all the signals into a simple yes, transcribe, or no, don't. The mediator is a giant complex of proteins at the end of the RNA polymerase II. The mediator is the message man for the activators and repressors to the RNA polymerase II. The mediator can activate or repress the RNA polymerase II. All eukaryotic cells have mediators, and some mediators are even more specific. So I just want you to see how it really just covers the RNA polymerase too. Like, it doesn't just go near it, like, it completely, like, encapsulates it. And I think the one on the top right kind of looks like a brain, but that one just kind of shows all the different proteins that are involved in this, and I just can't imagine, like, how complicated this must be, this one mediator, to just take all of these signals and kind of hash them out and figure out, do I have more yeses or more noes? And then another challenge question that you brought up was that if we didn't have a mediator complex, what would happen? And my answer is chaos. Absolute chaos. There's no way a cell would survive without this mediator complex. And this example doesn't even have that many um, cell-specific transcription regulators. I can imagine that there's way more usually on these mediator complexes. And I'm just thinking of how long the chromosome is and how much is involved.